seem very crooked. I feel like we're lopsided. Are we lopsided? You feel a little lopsided. Hi friends! Today is going to be the write-a-thon vlog. Admittedly, it is currently, uh, well if the watch would tell me, I could then tell you. 536 on Thursday evening. The write-a-thon doesn't actually start until Saturday. I've got about 36 hours until it actually starts. However, I have 4.2 million things to do before the write-a-thon starts and they're not write-a-thon related for the most part. Most part it's just me having things to do. Uh, so because I was very much preaching all of the things that you should have done prior to the write-a-thon, um, we're gonna start off with that. If you want to see more of like the actual write-a-thon vlog, I'll make sure I put the chapters in down below so you can click a different section. But this is gonna be like the pre- write-a-thon portion. As I said, it's Thursday evening. I just got home from work. I stopped and got dinner so I don't have to cook tonight. And the girl at the drive-thru gave me a free milkshake so I feel like the day's going well, yes. Uh, there were some parts of today that did not go well but but it's looking up. Free milkshake going up from here. Um, so I'm going to eat dinner and probably watch a couple videos that were posted today like from my friend Katie Ann and uh, catch up on a few videos while I eat my dinner and then I'm going to start doing some sprints probably in the writing room in the Troublemakers library if there's not already sprints going on that I can join. I'm gonna start some. I have videos to film. I have books to finish. I have laundry to fold. I have an office to clean. All of these are things I want to get done tonight because tomorrow night I want to do meal prep for the weekend so that I have plenty of food and snacks and drinks for the weekend. So let's do this. Yeah? I want to know down below what is your McDonald's order? Like if you're going to McDonald's and money is not an issue because fast food can be a little pricey these days. What is your McDonald's order? Me personally, the world's largest Diet Coke because McDonald's Diet Coke just hits different. I know everybody says it, but it is true. Like why is McDonald's Diet Coke better? Ugh. Also, for those people who are going to look at the rest of my McDonald's order and go, oh my gosh, you just ordered 20,000 calories in food and then ordered a diet soda. Why not just get the full soda? Because I like Diet Coke, okay? I can't tell you how many times when I worked in the restaurant industry um, and I worked at like a, what they would consider like a fast casual location uh, that served Italian food. And I cannot tell you how many times I would hear servers judge people for ordering like a plate of spaghetti and a diet soda and I'm like have you ever considered that maybe they just like diet soda yeah some of us just like diet soda we like the way it tastes go figure uh I also get fries but I don't have any of those left because I eat those in the car on the way home because it's a 20 minute drive so I ate those already uh I have a billion straws in here. One was for my soda, one was for my free milkshake, but it's gone now. I also am a 10 piece chicken nugget girl and I like mine with ranch. Sometimes I will get sweet and sour, but usually ranch, sometimes honey. Honey is really good on chicken nuggets. I don't know why, but it's delicious. If you've never had honey on your chicken nuggets, try it. Promise you it's delicious. And I don't always, but sometimes I also partake in a delicious double cheeseburger. Will I eat this today or will it be in my fridge for tomorrow? It depends on how I feel after I eat my fries and my chicken nuggets. This may be like my midnight snack. Instead of having a bowl of cereal before I go to bed, I may eat this cheeseburger. Is this why I'm overweight? Probably. Uh, but uh, here we are, living and thriving. So, again, let me know in the comments. What's your McDonald's order? I want to know. Thanks to Devasha, I now have this fantastic subscription group thing. I will figure out what this Chrome extension is, and I'll link it in the description box below, because it's 
fantastic. That's the thing I want to watch later. Anyway, um, so I want to see what I've got from my breasties and what, ooh, Becca posted a video today. All right, all right. And also my chateau friends because I love my chateau friends and also people I like. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have a video ooh, from Chateau Diaries and Escape to Royal France, which is like sometimes at Chateau Diaries, but sometimes not. Acadian, I'm Becca C. Smith, and uh, Bethany was here earlier, so that's not helping me out any, but okay. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that while we have dinner. I will probably watch Becca, and then Katie, and then Chateau, and then come back to Escape to Royal France, which is dance videos. Yeah, that's, that's probably, that's probably the route we're gonna go. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Add to queue, add to queue, add to queue, add to queue. And when these are over, then I shall have, you know, my work starting. Hi, Becca C. Smith here. And today I am going to show you how easy it is to register with the Writers Guild of America. I did a thing. Grab your butts, let's kick them into gear. Doing a 30 minute sprint. Look, everybody's gonna join me. We've got friends, we've got a Katie Ann, we've got an Elaine. We're gonna get going, yeah. I set this one up for 30. I think I'm going to do a video for the 30. And then see what we're gonna do after that. But I have a video to film, at least one. At least one, I think I have two. But I need to do at least the one, one video. I can do that in 30, right? Yeah. Let's do it. It has been about five hours since we have last seen each other. Have I accomplished things? Yes. Actually, it's only been four hours. So if you're a little lopsided, you're sitting on a bookshelf. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Anyway, it's been about four hours. I've got a lot done. I filmed two videos before the battery died. Otherwise, you would have been coming along for more adventures, but you can't do adventures when you have a dead battery. I bought two new batteries, but for some reason, they will not charge. Live in the dream life world. Okay, um, so yeah, filmed two videos. Got all of my laundry folded and put away. Uh, kind of sort of started cleaning off the couch. It's not great, I shall tell you. It's not the prettiest thing ever. See, only started to clean off the couch. Like, you can find it. It's right there. I see it. Um, but clearly, but it clearly still has a long way to go. I uh, finished eating dinner because I only ate, like, part of it earlier. Um, drank the other half of my milkshake, which was fantastic. And worked on some final write-a-thon uh, graphics and worked on some things with Fox and Sam for, like, just shoring everything up. And so that's pretty much going to be it for me for this evening. I still need to take a shower and get ready for bed, but you don't need to see that. So I will see you guys tomorrow after work um, for the final like cleanup, food preparation parts. I may do some more tinkering in here and clean up a few more things, but it's okay. You'll see that tomorrow. Okay. us. We're live. Look at us faces. It's almost the end of the first sprint of the ride a thon Do 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 do. We've got Marta's dinos and there's no better, no better way to start than Marta's dinos. It's been a really long time. It's actually 3.30 on Saturday now. So like we all know I suck at vlogging. I'm just proving a point here. Yesterday I ended up not doing anything that I was planning on doing to get prepared for the ride a because I had a surprise nephew visit, which was totally worth it. There's that. And then this morning I got up, I took a shower and got through the live stream, the opening stream with Sam. And then I had to go to work. And now I'm home from work and I had lunch. I will be very soon in the next 30 minutes monitoring my first live stream of the event. I technically also did a monitor for Marge's stream this morning. 
Uh, but I was like half asleep, so I've already gotten a bingo this morning. I have done a little bit of reading of Steelheart. Did I tell you what my goals were? Who knows? Not me. Let's see. Let's go to my Instagram. So my goals were to film one video and edit three. Haven't done any of that yet. Finish reading Steelheart. Haven't finished, but have read some. Spend at least two productivity streams on current work in progress exclusively. I'll be doing that in Stieg's stream coming up. I will be doing just the current work in progress. My fourth goal is to calm down. Doing all right with that so far. Um, will it continue? I don't know. Also, lunch. That is where I am currently. Hopefully y'all are having fun. If you're not already doing it. Yeah. And uh, see what else I can get into. Okay, it is time for a six o'clock update, my friends. Uh, what has happened? A, I've put on more clothes because it's fucking cold in Ohio. It wasn't that bad this morning, but then it was, it's not warm, okay? It's not warm, I put more clothes on. Uh, I have named some characters. I have done some Pinterest boarding, which is what I'm doing right now, actually, if you wanna see that. I am currently looking for uh, the male love interest. Somebody that strikes my fancy. So I guess we'll be looking through this for a while to see if we can find the right one for the love interest. I did find somebody for our main female character whose name is Tori, uh, but our male main character whose name is Dom not so much. I've also done some filming for like a, it's not a secret project because I've talked about it, but it's like a, a long ongoing project that takes too much, too long to explain, uh, but you'll see it eventually. And I still need to film another video and do three edits. I am doing fantastic, she said sarcastically, yeah. I am gonna get back to work. Hello friends, it is now almost midnight on Saturday. So I did my sprint on Caitlin's channel with me and Caitlin and Wallace and Crystal and Danny and Nikki, six. Um, and we did some sprint things and I did my mood board, which I think I'm gonna share in the Troublemakers uh, library. Why would I do something for the write-a-thon and share it in the write-a-thon event server or the social server when I could share it in the Troublemakers library where all of my friends live? Um, so I'm probably going to do that and then I'm going to go to bed because I have to be up in seven hours. Whew. To be on Phoebe's stream. Um, am I making progress? I think so. Am I having a good time? Definitely yes. I don't know how the rest of the weekend's going to go, but... Here we are. You can also see this type of shenanigans on Friday Mountain Smith on S Street. Happen on Mondays. I need all of you to know that yesterday Fox was like, Sam, I need you to not look in the brand and to trust me. And I was like, I am so concerned. I love that the first one. I am concerned and I'm scared. But, sir, sometimes I can steal your <laughs> like you never left us. Fox, I need you to know though, I don't, I still don't remember what revenge this is supposed to be on, so I need you to tell me what I did. <laughs> what did I do? Because you said I would know. You may or may not know, we have what we refer to as the Shadow Fox, and he's taken over my corner! <laughs> and he won't give it back. Could I go remove it? Yes. Am I going to? No. <laughs> Good, probably. Am I going to? Nah. Good morning, friends. It's honestly been such a chaotic morning. I honestly don't even know if I already said hello to you this morning or not. I don't remember. If not, hello. If I did, hello again. Uh, so I did Phoebe's stream this morning. That was seven o'clock my time. I got about five hours of sleep. Uh, I had breakfast, had coffee, 
and about halfway through Phoebe's stream, I feel like death. I have a migraine and I'm lightheaded and I have stuffy nose problems and I'm currently uh, having sinus bleedage, which is fantastic and great and wonderful. So I'm having a great morning overall, you know, naturally. I am currently in the break between Phoebe and Kate's stream. I am monitoring Kate's stream and then immediately leaving that early to go to my own stream and then leaving my stream to go to Michael's stream. So I've got a bit of a day, but uh, Stieg is being my hero this morning and is going to be uh, my backup for Kate's stream in case I fall asleep at the desk, pretty much where we're at with that. I have tea now. Um, I got some lemon chamomile with honey. Hopefully that'll help me feel a little better. I also took some uh, migraine medicine, which I'm not supposed to have with my anxiety and depression medication, but sometimes, you know, you just gotta live life dangerously. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, I have been working on mood boarding and things this morning. I am actually at a pretty good spot. I think I'm ready to um, dive in and do like some word vomit brainstorming. I've got a, a face claim, if you will, for my main character, my main love interest, and um, one of my main side characters, which is like the old man neighbor. I was trying to find like pictures of like cute old guys, like just like, you know, little old dudes. And I couldn't really find anything I liked and then was like, you know who like my favorite old guy is? Sir Ian McKellen. So why not use Sir Ian McKellen as like the face claim of the old guy? So that's what I did. I got it like a, a nice picture of Sir Ian McKellen and also because it has to do a little bit with history and like his past as well. I got like an old photograph of him from the 60s to put into his character board as well. So uh, loving that for myself right now. And Kate's stream starts in less than four minutes, so I'm ready to work on some more things this morning and hopefully get some things accomplished. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, Kate is currently live. I've been monitoring her live stream. I actually took a nap through both of the first two sprints. Um, I've been awake for the chats, but took naps during the sprints. I'm feeling better. So that's good. Um, and I just ate lunch during the third sprint. And we're going to be live on my channel in about 15 minutes. So, huh, fun times. Fun times. So I'm going to get us set up for that. And then we'll be moving. Hello friends! Hello, hello, hello! It is me and some friends for social stream number 10 for the Worldwide write a I decided to use the write a background instead of my own because, you know, why brand yourself when you can brand your own creation? Uh, also, Malin, I will allow it! Uh, we were just goofing off and talking and making fun of Stieg, so... You can have us, you can, you can have all of us late for the bingo, it's fine. We were just hanging out. Uh, there is a poll in the chat for whether you've reached your write a goals or not. Uh, so make sure that you answer that for me because I have lots of questions. Um, while I will allow my hosts to introduce themselves. Hanging out with some friends here on the YouTube live while also hanging out with some friends backstage because that's how we roll nowadays. It is now 5 p.m. and I have done my live stream, did Michael's live stream, which I was only kind of half assed there for. Um, now watching Violet's stream, and then this is the last stream before the party. So then after this will be the party. Have I accomplished things? I don't know, but hopefully I'll get to some things. Um, I'm gonna try to do some editing this time, but also might just play The Sims 4. Who knows?
it has been literal months since we've been here so let's talk some things shall we in this video it was the worldwide write-a-thon for march the june edition is coming up in like oh two weeks two weeks immediately following um the write-a-thon i was going to do like an end of the event wrap up on monday monday ended up being the day that uh, my sister ended up going i think she had a second all of the days blurred together, but essentially that was when shit really hit the fan. She had already had another brain surgery, and I think the Monday after the write a thon was when she came home uh, to here for her uh, basic hospital stay. Essentially, um, like the Monday after the write a thon, she lived here almost exclusively, other than when she was in the hospital was on hospice care for a month until she passed away so like the end of the write a like wrapping up the write a vlog never happened for obvious reasons i love uh these um the lost months vlogs because i've just been watching myself <laughs> rapidly decline in sanity and like trying to hold it together so hard on camera and failing miserably at doing so. Uh, <laughs> why is it funny? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think a large part of it was just trying to like hold everything together in real life and you know to make her feel like we hadn't all given up even though we all knew that you know we were gonna end up where we ended up at. Um, but just trying to be positive for her and, and to, so like I was trying to be positive in my everyday life and then that bled onto camera and then watching it back, I'm like, girl, <laughs> no, no, you were a mess. You were a hot dang mess. And a part of me, um, considered not posting any of these, but I think, you know, it's, it was a part of my life and it's a part of my life that I'm, I'm okay with sharing and... I think if anything else is like, you know, watch this video of like me pretending like I had my shit together, um, or at least trying to have some of my shit together and watching like, you know, getting prepared for the write a thon and doing the write a thon and like being ill and <laughs> everything. So, um, as you all know, if you've been here before, um, the write a thon stresses me out to no end. Uh, and this write a thon was no exception. It was this write a thon that I decided that I can never and I'm not allowed to host a sprint on the second day. In fact, I would not allow my, I will not allow myself to host a sprint that is after the first six hours of the event. Um, I don't have the social bandwidth for that, uh, so I'm not allowing myself to do that. Um, this round, my sprint is the second sprint, and I honestly wasn't going to host one at all, but I was making like a shorter sprint to um, not overlap with the fundraiser, and so I, you know, did some finagling there and basically was like, I don't want anyone else to have to deal with the, like, the complicatedness of this, so I will go ahead and host this one. Um, I also will probably only moderately be taking place, um, taking place, taking part in the after party. I, by the end, don't have the social bandwidth for it. Um, I will definitely be doing the closing chat with Sam, but I may just, like, do a little bit of the gameplay and bounce early on. Um, and let Sam be her social butterfly self. I definitely did not, I was not here for it. I was pissed off and grumpy and and behind the scenes was not was not fucking having it by the end of the event and that's just I mean everything else going on aside I don't have the social bandwidth for a two weekend two day event why do I plan those I don't know you tell me we'll both know um but I know myself and I'm learning more about you know what I'm capable of doing on these weekends the more of them we do so um hopefully this one goes much smoother not a whole lot going on in my world. I don't have to work that weekend. I can just be here and be in the moment. So um, the next write-a-thon again is the 18th and 19th. So if you haven't 
uh, been following us on Instagram, it is all linked down below, always in my social media and link section is um, my link tree, the write -a -thon link tree, everything is in there. It's all kinds of information for you down below. So thank you for watching this hodgepodge of a vlog. <laughs> that is all I have for today. I was reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! My heart is so hollow.